We're going to do a song called A Place in the Choir. It was written back in the 70s, and a lot of folks have covered it since then. We learned it when a good friend of ours named Jim Moles did it with the kids at our church up in Terre Haute, Indiana. And we liked it so much, we want to share it with you. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. Listen to the bass, it's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with a big to do. And the old cow just goes moo. Dogs and cats, they take up the middle where the hummingbird hums and the cricket fiddles and the donkey brays and the pony neighs and the old coyote howls. Listen to the top where the little bird sings all the melody with the high notes ringing and the hoot owl hollers over everything and the jaybird disagrees. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands or palms or anything they got now. Singing in the nighttime, singing in the day. The little duck quacks and he's on his way. The possum ain't got much to say. And the porcupine talks to himself. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. It's a simple song, a living song everywhere. By the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear, the grumpy alligator and the hawk above, the sly raccoon and the turtle dove. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. All God's critters got a place in the
Well, hello everyone at St. Charles Avenue Presbyterian Church, or might I say, greetings to the frozen chosen. I'm Dr. Deborah Burks. I know you haven't seen or heard from me in a while, but I ran out of scarves. I've just returned from France where I bought some magnificent new ones. The one I'm wearing is from Hermes, although Dr. Fauci says it's pronounced Hermes. Well, ooh la la for him. I know so much more about the coronavirus than Dr. Fauci, but Melania was jealous of my beauty and had me sacked because I was spending so much time with the Donald. I must say, Donald is the perfect gentleman, although he does have tiny hands. On the other hand, pun intended, Joe Biden tries to sniff my hair. He must think I'm Jill. I am so grateful to your pastor, the Reverend Dr. Michael Jenkins, for appointing me the official epidemiologist of your church. I shall provide the guidelines for your safety as you return to in-person services. And Michael will lead by example. I have assured him that wrapping a scarf around your face is as beneficial as any mask you can possibly wear, as I am demonstrating now. Not only that, but you are protected from close talkers. And it is now acceptable for you to say you wouldn't touch someone with a six-foot pole. As you return to worship, I want you to closely follow all of my guidelines and faithfully obey the instructions of the ushers, one of whom is a very dear friend of mine. Finally, remember to wash your hands often and avoid touching your face. I find the best way from touching my face is to keep a glass of wine in each hand. Cheers and cheerio.
Hello, Scapsy. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make Alfredo really quickly and really easily. The ingredients you will need are your pasta of choice, your protein of choice, lots of Parmesan, lots of heavy cream, lots of butter, and of course, some salt, some pepper, and a little bit of pan oil. Boil your pasta according to manufacturer directions. Also, don't forget to grab your pasta water. Prepare your protein of choice. In this case, mine is chicken. I really wish Smellovision existed because this smells really good right now. Um, but after this chicken is done, we're gonna move on to the sauce. You're gonna wanna melt some butter over medium heat. You're gonna wanna drown it in heavy cream and give it some whiskey business while you do it. You're gonna wanna keep the heat at medium and heat it until it gets to about a bare simmer. Once you get that up to a nice bare simmer, you're gonna wanna add your Parmesan cheese in uh, small batches. You wanna vigorously give that some whiskey business. Now you're gonna notice as you add the Parmesan cheese that the sauce is gonna drastically thicken up. And if you think it's getting a little too thick, you can add just a little bit of pasta water that I mentioned earlier to thin it out a little bit. Once the sauce has been fully thickened, you are done with the sauce and it's time to mix in everything else that you cooked. And enjoy your chicken alfredo, or whatever protein you used.
go And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. Regrets, I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway and more much more than this I did it my way yes there were times I'm sure you knew when I bit off more than I could chew but through Yes, 
There's a boy who works at Starbucks who is very inspirational. He is very inspirational because of many things. I come in at 8-11 and he smiles and says, how are you? And when he smiles and says, how are you? I could swear my heart grows wings. So today at 8-11, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper formal way. So today at 8-11, when he smiled and said, how are you? I said, fine, and my name's Sarah. <laughs> and he softly answered, hey. And I said, my name is Sarah. He said his name was Taylor, which provides the inspiration for this poem. Taylor, the latte boy, bring me java, bring me joy. Oh, Taylor, the latte boy, I love him, I love him, I love him. I'd like to get my nerve up to recite my poem musical. He would like the fact it's musical because he plays guitar. So today at 8-11, Taylor told me he was playing in a band down in the village in the basement of a bar. And he smoothly flipped the lever to prepare my double latte. But for me, he made it triple and he didn't think I knew. But I saw him flip the lever, and for me he made it triple. And I knew that triple latte meant that Taylor loved me too. I said, what time are you playing? And thank you for the extra scheme. He said, keep the 355, because this triple latte was on him.
Hi everyone, I'm Chris, and this is my sweet three-year-old border collie, Lick Nikki. <laughs> Nikki is so smart and so sweet, and so we wanted to just show you a couple things that she can do. So Nikki, first off, told me she wanted to be in the talent show. So I want you to see her speak. Speak! Speak! Thank you. Nikki also loves to play catch. Let's go inside and check it out. Let's play catch. Yay! Okay, Nikki. Let's play catch. Yay! And did you guys know, Nikki's an athlete. All right, Nikki, come dunk it in the basket. Come dunk it in the basket. Dunk it, come on. Put it in the basket. Put it in the basket, Nick. Put it in the basket. Good girl! Here's the thing though, Nikki doesn't just do those things, she really likes to keep the house clean. Nikki, take out the trash. Thank you. But Nikki, we also know you're a really environmentally friendly dog, aren't you? So you like to recycle too. Nikki, can you put it in the recycling? Go ahead, put it in the recycling. Put it in the recycling. Good girl! And here's a few other things Nikki wanted to throw in, because why not? Nikki, can you sit? Nikki, sit. Good girl. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good girl. Nikki, down. Good girl. Good girl. Come here, Nick. Sit. Give me your paw. Good girl, the other one. Good girl. Good girl. Nikki, high five. Good girl. Nikki! Hey, Nikki, come on, dance. Come on, Nick, dance, dance. Come on, come on, dance. Good girl. Open the door, Nikki. Open the door, Nikki. Nikki, close the door. Nikki, close it. Close the door. Nikki, close the door. All the way. Nikki, close it. All the way. All the way. Close the door. Thank you. Close it. All the way. All the way. Good girl. Nikki's a big girl, but she also knows restraint. She will never eat a treat, even if we drop it on the ground, unless we tell her to. Nikki? No? Okay, girl. Good girl. But here's the thing. Despite all her skills, Nikki always keeps God first. Right, baby? Come on, prayers. Say prayers. Okay, amen. Good girl. In conclusion, we think Nikki's a pretty special girl. Love your pets and love animals, friends, because they too are a blessing for God. Nikki, wave goodbye. Wave goodbye. My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself, poor souls with no one else to turn to. I'll admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True! Yes! Now oh, I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. 
And dear lady, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed, pathetic, poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one wanting to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my quadrant, and crying, spells us, la please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to rape them across the coals. Well, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint to these poor unfortunate souls. So, my dear, have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father and sisters again. But you'll have your man. Life's full of tough choices in it. Oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. Can't get something for nothing. There's no such thing as a free lunch. But I don't have... I'm not asking much. Just a token, really. A trifle. What I want from you is your voice. But without my voice, how can I... You'll have your looks, your pretty face. And don't underestimate the importance of body language. <laughs> the men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yet on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. After all, dear, what is idle pratcha for? Come on! They're not all that impressed with conversation. Two gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't and soon fawn on the lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets her man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead. Make your choice. Now, I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Flotsam, jetsam, now I've got a boys. The boss is on a roll. This poor, unfortunate soul. Beluga, sevruga, come winds of the Caspian Sea. La ringe exclusitis es max laryngitis, la voce to me. Now, sing. Keep singing. October, just what the heck is this new pumpkin scheme? You cry, you're waking up old 
it, it's all just some very bad dream. Why so sad? Remember all those trick or treaters lined up? What a scene. Now it's making me mad. The CDC guidelines just make me want to scream. We'll be back soon, you'll see. All my friends will be back here with me. We'll be back in 21 when we all can gather, have some fun. We'll be back. We can't wait just to frolic at a party game. We'll be thin but still strong. All my funny, funny old companions will rejoin me on the lawn. Ooh. 